You've been hit, sir. Okay, hey everybody, Let's welcome back. Out. It's been a little while since we played last time, and I don't really remember where we were in the game, so I just loaded her up and let's see what happens here. It's probably got something to do with Zeppelins. That's usually a pretty good bet with this game. Give me some well, let's see what was so important that they... Ah, here we go. Am I seeing things, or is that a Zeppelin? You're not seeing things. Whatever that airship is transporting out of here can't be allowed to leave. Shoot it down. Roger that, General Cogman. So here we are, fighting the German Zeppelin. The body is invincible, so we've got to take out the turrets that are on the outside here. The engines are also invincible, so we cannot slow it down. If you look up in the top left corner, we've got all of our wingmates in defensive mode right now, so we're going to set those one, two, three, two, offensive mode. Now these guys are going to start attacking like crazy. They'll swing around, they're a little more maneuverable than I am, they're going to be in a better position to do damage to the Zeppelin here. Now, I am flying a modded Spitfire 5. We've got the light cannon upgrade and we've got the mine shells upgrade. So we are doing 10% additional damage with our shells as well as a 3% a chance for a critical hit. We've also got a rear mounted flat gun which is fired like so, but it's really hard to aim. So I'm not gonna be dealing with that too, too much. So pretty standard mechanic here. We've got to fly around, take out all the turrets, and when that happens, the bay doors open up and things start getting awfully familiar for us around here. Planes are going to start getting dropped out, though we're not usually fighting junkers and stukas, which is going to make things just a little bit trickier in this case. Now if you look up at the top, whoops, hold on, turrets are down. Observers say they're coming from bays within the airship. If you can target those bay doors while they're open, you can do considerable damage. The usual thing. Now, this is a German base right here, uh, so we can fly around and destroy the things that are on the ground as well, but you don't really get much for it. Okay, now you see these little guys that are flying around with the ammo symbol next to them. If you can take these airplanes out, you get a full refill of ammunition, but it's a little bit tricky because they're very maneuverable. I'm gonna track one down right now. Here we go. It's a BF-109 Model E. Boom! Extra ammo. Got it. Now, if you look over the top left corner, you're gonna see that we have buttons for attack mode, defense mode, guard, and a special attack. Oh, they closed it. That was bad timing. If we hit Numpad 3 for that little lightning bolt. That's going to put our boy Teach into... No, not Teach. Cowboy. It's going to start Cowboy's special attack, which is a thing where he gets, uh, gets to be invincible for a little while and does kind of a berserker mode. So, since we've got planes all over the place, let's have him do that right now. I don't need this ammo, but I do need him dead. So let's go ahead and take out this Falk Wolf Model 190A8. Boom. What a waste. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That's what the flak is for. Okay, flying around, flying around. Take out the BF-109. Excellent. Okay, we need to hang out near the bottom of the Zeppelin right now. Okay, doors are open. Here we go. If you can target those bay doors while they're open, you can do considerable damage. You don't want to get too far from the Zeppelin in this part, or you'd have a problem. So we just gotta shoot a whole bunch of stuff inside here, like that. Okay, she's not looking too good. good luck 
launching any more fighters out of there. Good show. So we've got Oh, and the door's closed. You really only have enough time to do one, maybe two passes, but uh, since I don't have this plane equipped with rockets, it's pretty difficult to get them in only one run. Oh, God. Oh, God. One more time. Okay, where were we? That's right, blowing up a Zeppelin. Here we go. Things are getting gnarly around here. Ground target is destroyed. Go ahead, do a little bit of damage. Boom. Okay, vent is down. Whatever it is, it blows up nicely. Come around again and pour it on. Good luck launching any more fighters out of there. Oh, at the wrong angle. There it is. See the air vents and fuel tanks and all kinds of stuff like that. Very explosive. And we're out of time. If you can destroy the enemy fighters, the Zeppelin will have to open their bay doors to launch more. So the Berserk attack is recharged. Let's go ahead and set that off again. Yes, sir. With pleasure. Okay, don't want to make a mistake and accidentally shoot these green tanks over here. These are allied units, but we can help these guys out a little bit. Give them a strafing run. So let's swing back around. Not many fighters left, so we need to hang out near the Zeppelin. Okay, slow down a little bit. Don't want to overheat our engines. Let's drop some altitude. Come back around so that we have a good angle of attack. Okay, we've still got one enemy plane in the air. Let's see if we can take him out ourselves. Another Falk Wolf. Out of range. Ah, but he's getting planked. Bay doors are open. Let's whip around. If you can target those bay doors while they're open, you can do considerable damage. And couldn't do it. Next round. Swing around. Now, boom. A few more hits ought to take her out once and for all. Well, she's in trouble now. I always wanted to kill a Zeppelin. Well, I like it when things work out that way. Okay, aced it. Very good. 8,300 prestige points, and we beat it under the uh, under the limit. So, we got an extra 1,000 points. Uh, 16 ground vehicles destroyed. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, so uh, those strafing runs are pretty worth it. Didn't really have any naval targets on this one. Uh, let me see here. So, for a total of 3754 and uh, um, I think I loaded the wrong game again. Hold on a minute.
Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, that looks a little better, a little more familiar, and my god, look at the FMV on the background over there. I forgot how low resolution that was. Oh, I'm getting spoiled by HD games these days. Okay, campaign, where the hell were we? It's been a little while since we played last. I think we're pretty sure we we're on the LP here. Okay, oh, that, uh, Bomber Moral Bomber. As you will recall, we got the, uh, the Warhawk plane in the last mission, so let's go ahead and configure that. But you can't tell what game I've been playing lately. Okay, P2 Warhawk, yes, that's the one newest game, uh, newest one here. Uh, heavy fighter, actually, I think it's technically a bomber. Um, very, very heavy airplane. Very poor agility, but it's got some great armor, and it's got some pretty damned impressive offensive capabilities here. We're going to leave the stock engine uh, in there. Let me see, what's our weight? We're at 14.6 uh, of 14.6. Okay, that's pretty damn good. 30 units all around, pretty standard guns. We've got a 70 caliber on the main gun and then a 50 caliber on the back end. As we get farther into the game here, we start to get to levels where you start running out of ammo. You can't just fly around with one single heavy gun anymore because you're going to be empty by the midway point. So we're going to go ahead and keep both the 70 and the 50. The 50 is going to be in reserve. If we look, we can see that they are both set on the inner wings. Again, we do want our guns on the inner wings because of the point of convergence. When they're off on the outer wings, way out here, and we're firing, they're going to cross in an X shape. And if you don't line that up just right, you're going to be missing your target because your bullets are going to be flying off to the left and right. By getting them on the inner wing mounts right here, they're going to be in as straight a line as possible. And so uh, it makes things a little bit better for long-range shooting. Hard points, look at this, four hard points on both sides, that's almost as much as a Belmoral bomber. This is going to be ridiculous. So, really all that's left to do is to put a proper paint job on it. Let's go for this Viking Nord guy, because that's kind of what I've been doing lately. Uh, okay, so we got Pirate Guy, we got the usual Fortune Hunter stuff, Fortune Hunter's colors. All looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and buy it. What are we looking at here? Okay, 1920. And we're still right on the wait, so we're good. Purchase now. Has been purchased and delivered to the hangar. Excellent. So, there she is, right there. Gonna try out a heavy bomber. Look at this. Three propellers on this massive thing. Doesn't really work, but hey, it's kind of fun anyway. Uh, let's go. Sparks, status. Our scouts just found the Black Hat Zeppelin. She's on an intercept course with Blake Aviation Convoy, and we're right on their tail. Over. Hey, boss, tell me again why we're helping out Paladin Blake. He's never been nothing but a sore spot for us. And this is exactly the kind of beating that would put Blake Aviation Security out of business and out of our hair forever. Ah, uh, sorry, Jack, but something's not right here. This massive plan to massacre Blake is way out of Booth's League. He's not that smart. Now, someone's pulling his strings, and I want to find out who. So, what about Blake and his boys? They sure won't be happy to see us again. True. But they'll learn to love us. <laughs> I want everyone to focus only on the Black Hats. Shoot down as many as you can. Let Blake see we're on his side. So even if Blake Aviation planes fire on us, we can't return fire? That's right. Eventually Blake will see whose side we're on, I hope. And once he does, we'll need to help him protect the convoy from those torpedoes. When the convoy is safe, we'll turn on the Hat Zeppelin. Once we torture, the remaining airborne Black Hats will be up a creek. We launch in five! Pirates helping pirate hunters. Oh my gosh, what is this world coming to? Ho ho, what a reversal. Okie doke, so here we go. We're going to use our new airplane, Dragonborn. There we go, 70, let's see, slugs. Certainly don't need slugs. Let's switch this to explosive ammo all around. This one's tricky. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do half and half high explosives and armor piercing. Let me see here, yeah, flash, rear flash, smoke, choke, blah, 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 blah. You can use torpedoes. Torpedoes are finally available in this mission. Uh, aerial torpedoes, when they appear, they're I mean, almost the size of a plane when they go flying along. You only get one per hard point, though, and so even though we can carry eight total, they're not that handy because we are only fighting one Zeppelin, and we can still attack it the usual way by attacking the cannons when the hatch is open and then blowing up the uh, ammo that's inside. Not really that useful for this mission or for most missions, to be honest, but they're kind of fun, and it certainly makes things interesting if you want to try that. 
flak is going to be kind of handy for this one since we are going to be shooting at the torpedoes, but the torpedoes are a little bit buggy and don't seem to respond to flak explosions very well. So we're not going to deal with that. We're just going to use the guns to take them out. So half armor piercing for the planes and the other high explosive for the Zeppelin and uh, also for the planes. So that's that. We do not need anybody in a Devastator for this one because we are going to be dealing with a hell of a lot of planes. Today we're going for another one of our flying battleships here. The old howdy do, the Belmoral with all of these turrets and as we know when you put those turrets into the hands of the uh, of the computer they are in uh, they're just ridiculously uh, effective so here we go uh, one super fortress here and then us in this thing that's not much faster so could be tricky but this mission is all about endurance you gotta just last and last and last until you get to that final bit there. So, you're going to be a lot of dodging and flying around rather than fighting on this one. So, here we go. Don't shoot down any Blake Aviation planes. That's the thing. That's the I gimmick. Blake's radio frequency, boss. It doesn't sound good. And keep away from the engines. We won't go down without a fight. This is the twain. All hands braced for impact. Damn, we just lost two gas bags on the twain. Wild Bill and Siren, cover her. Don't let any more torpedoes get through. This is Wild Bill. I can't make it, sir. I'm bailing out. Hurry up, Siren. We need help. They're coming around for another pass. Right. Let's get after those Warhawks. Take them out and the Hats will have a hard time downing those Zeps. Zachary, you're in this too? I'll wipe you out. I'm here to help you, Blake. I know that seems hard to believe, but... Uh... Believe this, Zachary. You're going down and hard. That's one, Blake. Why would I attack a partner? Save your tricks for the judge, boy. I'm not buying it. That's two. We're on your side this time, Blake. Can't you see? A couple of jackals fighting for a carcass. That's what I see here, Zachary. Look, Blake. How many hats do we have to down to convince you? You can start by downing your own plane, son. Ah, man, you must have mule blood, Blake. I've never seen someone so stubborn. You're right, Blake. My men and I are getting shot up by these goons. We're not shooting your men or those zaps. You want my help or not? All right, Zachary, maybe I believe you. For now. But you damn well better not be double-crossing me, son. Blake to all units. Zachary and his pilots are friendly. Repeat, friendly. Concentrate fire on Black Hat forces. And not a moment too soon. We've got another wave of Black Hats coming in. So you decided to suck up the Blake, eh, Zachary? I always said you were a stinking pretty blue shoes. That's right. We'll bury the two of you side by side. I'll use your teeth for dice. I'll, I'll dance on your grave. I, I... Say, hey, get a hold of yourself there, Dixon. All those crashes you've been having lately must have knocked a screw loose in there or something. Yeah! Now bomb a little more time. It is ridiculous how effective that Balmoral is with those heavy guns. I can't even get to the enemy. Oh, I'm just gonna have to okay, boss. That's do it the last torpedo plane. plane. Nice for saving my bacon, Zachary. Although I have no idea what angle you're working. Thank me later. The Black Hat Zeppelin is moving into firing position. We need to take her out before her broadsides blow your cargo Zeppelin to bits. Let me at him! I, I'll cut him to pieces! Don't even bother trying to bail out either! I'll pop that suit like a felt bubble! Dixon, old boy, the only thing you've popped is your cook. Oh, Ace Dixon came out to play. This is why we have the armor-piercing guns. I'm sorry, armor-piercing rockets. As you start getting into these uh, advanced levels here, the aces start getting to be a hell of a lot tougher than usual, so... Give him a couple of those, and I uh, completely messed up. Be careful. Those guns are starting up. Alright, alright. Take out Ace Dixon first. He's the most dangerous. Who the hell is shooting? Enemy aircraft bearing. Three all right. Enemies here are all on brigands, or mostly, and so they've all got turrets, so... I'm gonna be dealing with them like crazy. Squirm all you want, worm. Boom, there we go. 
Maybe so. But it'll take Two armor piercings like in the you butt. To do me in, brother. No! Bloody, Let me hold that. No, bloody again! Is anyone keeping uh, count here? I think that poor bastard just broke a new record. This is the Dark Derby. Target is in range. Fire the cannons. Fortune Hunters, we have to take out that Zeppelin before it's too late. Watch any torpedoes you've got and aim for her broadside cannon hatches. Okay. Enemy aircraft during 9 o'clock. Okay, switching back over to the explosive rounds. Watch it! That's live fire! Entirely the wrong side. Just a few deaths. Uh -huh. Enemy aircraft bearing, six oh, As I, oh, Jesus. As I mentioned bearing, early in the LP, you don't want to be anywhere near Zeppelins in the uh, in the later levels here Enemy because they start to have unerring accuracy, uh, particularly when you're in a big slow plane like mine. Enemy okay, aircraft open up. Prepare yourself for a proper thrashing. Oh, there's Fire a left. signal. Alarm horn well, sounds, and then these things open I'll up here. Really. Boom, there's one. There's two. Okay. Very similar procedure to the last thing we did that was actually up oh, back. It was actually On your not this game. Uh, turns out there are only so many ways that you can kill a Zeppelin in a video game. Enemy aircraft bearing 12 o'clock low. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Watch that defensive fire. Enemy aircraft bearing 6 o'clock low. Daniel Zachary, I'll have my revenge. Oh, promises, promises. That's one gas bag down. Go Belmore. Okay, so the Ulysses booth was flying around, but my uh, Balmoral took care of it. So, looks like they've just about taken care of me. Okay, open up. Oh, it's on the wrong side, damn. That's all she wrote for the Dark Derby. All right, oh, okay, there we go. What the hell is going on? Hope you like long stories, Blake, because this one's a doozy. There she goes. There's my upside down Belmoral. Whoa. So, that's that. As you can see, certain actions, such as bringing along a goddamn battleship of an airplane along, uh, can kind of break the game, and uh, as you saw, a bunch of the triggers got kind of goofed up there. Uh, a big part of this level was the whole mechanic of shooting down the torpedoes in the air, but the Balmoral wiped them all out uh, before the uh, poor thing could even uh, really do anything. So, uh, that was maybe not as interesting as it could have been, but hey... It's still fun. Gentleman pirate, blah 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 blah. Let's see, here we go. Tex and Bashful Betty and uh, the usual thing. Haven't seen Black Swan in a little while. Uh, Zachary and Blake kicked the back of the black hat, so here we go. Remember, uh, because we trashed Blake earlier, he uh, just about lost his company, and so maybe this will help him out just a little bit. A little, uh, little good set up here. Uncover STI corruption. SDI, Sacred Cross, Sacred, uh, Sacred Trust Incorporated, that's, uh, ah, yes, remember, Sacred Trust is the company that came in and re replaced Blake as the, uh, the main defensive force back in California, so, oops. Okay, so, two Warhawks, one Ace, not that impressive, but, hey, what are you gonna do? Once again, look at that, cash earned. Why is this even a mechanic in this game, I wonder, having cash earned, when you can't really... Fine. Doesn't matter. No, Blake, you're not listening. Lucas Miles is still alive. I thought I put that backstabbing fox out of his misery last year over Cuba. But when me and the fortune hunters looted the Black Hat's mansion in Skyhaven, 
We found out that Miles is alive and well, and pulling the strings of Sacred Trust and the Black Hats gang from a swanky Manhattan skyscraper. I wouldn't believe you for a minute if I hadn't seen them fighting together only moments ago. But it does explain how those Black Hat boys knew when and where to hit our richest shipments. As Snake Miles was getting our client shipping schedules and cargo manifest delivered to his doorstep like a damn morning paper. Swell little racket. We should. He'd pick out which cargos were rich, tell the Black Hats where and when to strike. Well, no wonder they were clobbering us. So, when are we going to New York? We? <laughs> a pirate helping Paladin Blake? Well, I'll be. Common enemies make strange bedfellows, but it looks like you could use the help. This has nothing to do with me, Nathan Zachary. Something's eating you. Blake, if you talked less and shot more, maybe we wouldn't be in this part. It's the innocence, isn't it? Miles and his gang are butchers. It's all that unnecessary killing that's really eating at you. I've heard stories, Zachary. What do they call you, the gentleman pirate? Is it true you once shot down one of your own pilots for strafing innocent bystanders? I said you talk too much, Blake. See you in Manhattan. You can't con me, Nathan Zachary. There's hope for you yet. Redemption is... Mm. Is that guy a preacher or a pilot? And so ends the last of the missions in Colorado. Now we're stepping into the final act of the game, the last couple of missions, and these all take place in the Empire State, previously New York. Now things are getting tricky. Well, I hope you enjoyed this mission, even though it took a little bit uh, of a long time for me to uh, put it together, and uh, it was still kind of a lot of fun, wasn't it? And uh, now we're going to take a look at the plane of the day. This one may upset a couple of you, but hey, you know, I always wanted to do this one as a special, so take a look at today's plane of the day. All right, folks, today's plane of the day is one that is universally beloved among Saturday morning cartoon watchers the Sea Duck. Officially named the Conwing L-16, the Sea Duck is a cargo configured flying boat that had been described as a cross between a P-38 Lightning and a PBY Catalina flying boat. In actuality, an interview with the art director of the show stated the design of the Sea Duck came from a need for a character to regularly jump out of the back of the plane. On a regular plane, the tail boom would make this difficult explaining the need for the twin boom design. The Sea Duck is a cargo plane, so a rear-loading ramp was also needed. When existing planes were examined for suitability, it turned out that such a plane already existed. The Fairchild C-119 flying boxcar was an American military transport developed from the Fairchild C-82 packet, designed to carry cargo, personnel, litter patients, and mechanized equipment, and to drop cargo and troops by parachute. Since tailspin took place in the South Pacific, an amphibious design was needed and the necessary adjustments were made. In the end, the Sea Duck is less a fictional plane and more a fictional variant of a real, though rare, plane. While information suggests that there was an experimental amphibious version of the C-119, no photos are available. If that variant were finished, then the Sea Duck may have actually existed, however briefly.